Happy Holidays from the Allergy Actress Cooking Kitchen. Hi everybody, it's Mary Beth Eversole, the Allergy Actress, and today we are making the Kitchen Sink Mashed Potatoes. Yes, so good. There's actually not that many ingredients, but the flavors, that's what I meant by Kitchen Sink. There's so many good flavors in here. I'm so excited to show this all to you. So let's get to the ingredients. Okay, so like I said, there are not that many ingredients in these mashed potatoes, but oh, the flavor is so good. Okay, so of course, to make mashed potatoes, you need potatoes, right? I like to use Yukon Gold because they have this creamy texture, and it's just, mm, I just know it's... I love the flavor of Yukon Gold. You can use russet potato, you can use red potatoes, really just whatever you want to use. Um, when you use red potatoes or you use Yukon Gold, you can keep the skins on, just make sure you wash them. Uh, for russet potatoes, you'll want to definitely uh, peel them. Okay, so I used, I'm using eight potatoes, medium-sized Yukon Gold potatoes. And you just cube them up just like that, and then you're gonna dump them in some boiling water, and then you're gonna boil them for about 20 minutes until they're soft, and then we mash them. And then we get to do the rest of this fun stuff. Okay, so the next ingredient you need are leeks. You want to get either four to five small leeks, or in my case, two giant leeks, because that's all that was available. <laughs> so um, I don't know if you can see, but this is only half the size of the leek. So that's a giant leek. They were, like when I got them, they were like this long. So um, just gauge the size. What you want is about this much, okay? You're gonna cut them into three inch little blocks and half, cut in half as well. Only use the white and the ever so light green. Don't use the dark green. That's something else, okay? Also with leeks, you wanna make sure, I wanna show you there's so many layers here. And you wanna make sure that when you wash them that you wash in each of those layers. It's a little bit tedious, but it's really good because then you don't get all those little bacteria in there, you know. Um, okay, so then we also have eight tablespoons of butter. That's right, I said eight. Eight tablespoons of vegan butter. Yes, so exciting. And then we have half a cup of full fat coconut milk. And um, again, when you open a can of coconut milk, a lot of times it's, um, the fat has gone to the top and it's hard. So you're just gonna have to poke through with a spoon and get to the liquid below and then stir it up, okay? And then we have eight ounces of vegan cream cheese. This, I decided, you can use plain, but I decided to use um, chives and onions in this flavor. So I'm excited to see how that goes. Um, I usually use plain, but I was like, ooh, chives and onions, that sounds good. Okay, so then the last flavor that we have in there is dill. Fresh dill is what you wanna use. And make sure that you kind of break it apart. It kind of looks like little Christmas trees when you're breaking it apart. Don't get any stems in there. You can use a knife to cut it up if you want. I just tore it apart with my fingers. And then of course, every good chef needs the seasoning, salt and pepper. Oh, I just salted the potatoes a little bit. <laughs> um, Himalayan pink salt and cracked black pepper. Love to use that. The pink salt, you wanna have um, two teaspoons. The pepper is just to flavor however you want it. That's it, you guys. Let's go make these potatoes. Mm. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is boil your potatoes. Uh, I don't recommend dumping the entire bowl into a hot boiling bowl of water, so get a little scoopy thing and uh, drop them in until you feel comfortable enough to put what's left over in the bowl in there. So, um, and see like that, that's like, ow! Oh. <laughs> that's a funny sound, ow! Oh. Okay, so I just, you know, I've, I've learned from experience doing this that you need to drop them in nicely instead of all at once. Uh, one time I got a piece of boiling water in my eye. That is why I do this now. <laughs> um, okay, so we're getting there. And then once we're moving on, oh, by the way, you wanna boil these for about 20 minutes. You're gonna bring them up to a rolling boil. Um, potatoes are like pasta, they will boil over, so you wanna make sure you're keeping an eye on the water to make sure that um, it's not boiling over. And I might even scoop a little bit of water out, actually, because it looks like we're gonna be right at the top. Um, 
All right, so I actually might just do that. If you put too much water in, do this and scoop some of the water out so that it has room enough to boil. Ooh, hey, hey you. It's okay, it didn't hurt too much. <laughs> um, but yeah, you wanna have about, yeah, like an inch between the lip of the pan and your water level so that it can boil, right? Okay, good, that's good. So now we're going to move on to our next step, which is right here. We're going to do our leek butter. So first thing you wanna do is turn on your light. And we're gonna put it at, um, we'll put it at about like a medium high for now. You're gonna put all eight tablespoons of butter into your pan. Mmm, butter. So there's this story that my family tells me. Apparently when I was a child, I used to just eat sticks of butter. I don't remember doing that, but they said that butter was like my favorite thing and that I would just eat butter straight. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know if I believe you, family, but, uh, but yeah, apparently that's a, that's a urban legend that they tell about me uh, in, in the family. So, all right, so this butter is melting. And the next thing we're gonna do, you wanna melt it down just a little bit, but it's not. Let's melt it down just a little bit more. Um, what we're doing is we're making leek flavored butter. The way that you do that, and by the way, you can do this with really any kind of like onion or you can do it with garlic. Like if you wanna make garlic butter, put garlic in it and then cook it for a while and then um, get rid of the garlic and then you have garlic butter. So um, what we do is we put the leeks in here and we're just gonna cook them like you would normally cook leeks. You cook them down just like, uh, just like an onion, really. They're kind of in the onion family. And I'm gonna keep it up at a boil. And then once these are cooked down, you're actually gonna drain the butter. So that's what this is for. Um, my little strainer into this bowl and you're gonna put the leeks and use them for a different purpose. Um, because you're not actually gonna put the leeks in the mashed potatoes. You're just gonna put the butter in the mashed potatoes. So that's what we're doing. We're cooking the leeks down and then it takes about five to seven minutes to cook the leeks down. And then after that, we are going to add the cream cheese and the coconut. And then we will put everything together and then we will bake it. Yes. See you soon. Okay, so as you can see, the leek butter has been leaked out of the leeks. <laughs> um, and I have put it back in the pan. So remember, the way that I did that is that I poured the leek mixture through a colander into another bowl. And then the, the leeks, I kind of pressed them down so all the butter could really squish through. And then it's the bowl, the butter that's in the bowl that you want to reuse. The leeks used for something else, they're great. They're like an onion, so you can use them for whatever you would use onions for. So now we've turned the heat back up and we are going to add the coconut milk. And remember, full fat coconut milk sometimes looks lumpy. That's okay, that's just the fat. Um, and, oh, FYI, potatoes are still boiling. Just wanted you to see that. So we are uh, doing the coconut milk and then we're gonna also add the cream cheese. Oh, <laughs> all of it, just like it decided to do right there. And then um, I'm gonna use a spoon instead of a spatula. And you wanna cook this, go up to like high. You wanna cook it until the cream cheese is melted, until it's boiled down. Now with vegan cream cheese, it doesn't melt completely. Usually you might have little pieces and that's okay. Um, but that's what you wanna do. Okay, so I'm gonna cook this down and I'll see you on the other side. All right, so we have been mashing away and now comes the time to mix everything in. So I'm going to clear the masher out of the way and now we are going to pour the sauce in. So this sauce has been sitting there for a while. We'll keep that out because it was hot. Or we'll stir it back in. Oh, see, look there, it melts back in, ta-da. Okay, um, 
everything goes in, everything in the pool. Um, and remember that dill, now is the time to put that in. You can put as much or as little dill in as you, so I like to like sprinkle it and stir it a little bit to see how much I get in there and then try again. So also salt and pepper. So I like do the salt, you know, one round of salt, one round of pepper, then we stir and then we do it again. Don't burn yourself. I learned from experience, so do that. And then you're mixing and mixing, and the dill is nice because it kind of breaks off into its little tiny pieces. Um, and once you've mixed in some moisture, usually you can mash a little bit further. And I'm gonna put some more dill and some more salt. Oh, it's going to be so tasty, I cannot wait. All right, I'm just gonna go for all the dill, and we're gonna go for everything else, everybody in the pool. All right. It's one of my favorite statements. So we stir until everything is combined. And I think I might just mash a little bit further. I don't mind lumps in my potatoes, but some people do. So, so that we make it as nice as possible, I will mash just a little more. And then after that, what we're gonna do is we're going to drop it into this pan back here. So I'm gonna move this guy and I'm gonna move this guy and I'm gonna get that masher out of the way and then we are going to scoop some of the potatoes into the bowl so this bowl is greased I greased mine with um, vegan butter but you can grease it with whatever you can tolerate olive oil works um, or if you can use the spray things um, then use that by all means. I can't use them because they have soy lecithin in them. Isn't that wonderful? Um, so, scooping away. And then you want to kind of flatten it out. Now, this is a cool recipe because you can get to this step. And if you're like, I can't finish or bake this right now, you can actually cool it completely and then put it in the fridge. Um, and it is, it's basically, I mean, you could eat this like this right now. But we're going to twice bake it. And because that's the whole point of this is to have twice baked potato. And so you flatten it out like this, let it cool completely, put it in your fridge, and then it's really cool. Um, but what we're going to do, I'm going to grab a spoon, is we're going to create little peaks with the spoon. And I'm not the best at creating peaks, but just kind of put your spoon and then pull up, spoon and then pull up. That way it kind of, what it does when you bake is that it um, makes the, the little tops of the peaks kind of brown and it makes it, I don't know, kind of makes it look a little pretty. So you just kind of do that. Um, it's, there are people that do it a lot better than I do, but. <laughs> um, and then you put it in the oven, so not covered. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven. Um, oven's at 350 and you're gonna bake it for 40 to 45 minutes. So here we go in the oven, close it up, and I'll see you in about 40 minutes. I don't know if you can see the steam coming up here, but it smells so good. Again, you guys, I wish we had smell vision Here are the kitchen sink mashed potatoes. I'm about to take a bite. I better blow on it because look at that steam. Okay, I'm getting a facial. Are my cheeks red? <laughs> Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yep, that's about all I have to say about that. <laughs> so, so good. Creamy and tangy, you can taste the dill, you can taste um, the chives and the onions. So good. Ah, okay, I'm gonna go eat the rest of this. And until next time, this is Mary Beth Eversole, the Allergy Actress, signing off for now.